Hey Brad Squad, it's Belgium Kim and today I am at the 92nd annual Feast of San Gennaro in Little Italy, New York City. The feast started on Thursday, September 13th and goes on for 11 days. The Feast of San Gennaro is in honor of the patron saint of Naples. However, it's now known for its festive atmosphere, its delicious food, and its amazing processions. Out-of-towners and locals alike flock to the colorful feast to celebrate restaurants and culture. Check it out. I'm here with Bob. Bob, you are on the committee of the Feast of San Gennaro? Yes, I am. Been on for about 15 years. We meet regularly, plan the events, and then at the end of the feast, whatever monies we have left after expenses is distributed to charity. What year of celebrating the San Gennaro Festival is this for you? Not even just as a member of a committee, but just celebrating the feast. I've been in the neighborhood for over 50 years, so it's been around that time. <laughs> around that time. And when I was a, a child, we, I grew up in East Harlem, yeah. we would come down for the feast. Oh, wow. They had one up there around uh, a Lady of Mount Carmel on 116th Street, but mm -hmm. we always come down and visit this feast when I was a child, so it's been a lifelong thing. <laughs> right. The purpose of the feast is to honor the patron saint of Naples, Italy. When most Europeans came here, they took all their laws and all their religion with them. And this is where most of the Neapolitans settled, on Mulberry Street. On the other block, it was a different saint, and on the next block, it was a different saint. <laughs> okay. But it started out as a, as a table, a little mm -hmm. table in one block, in one corner. They did all their famous cooking, all their famous honoring him, having a mass, and again, it started back in the 1920s. And it grew every year and every year. This is our 92nd year of having this feast here. Brad Squad, we are here with Danny on the Corners. Danny, you are the king of Zeppelis around here, is that right? That's absolutely right. I've been on this block all my life. I actually grew up on the next block. Oh, wow. And I've been doing the feast right here in this location since I was a little kid. This is originally a family spot uh -huh. that I took over. My great-grandmother used to have like all the candy from Italy, which we actually still have right over there. Uh -huh. She over here, she would have all the nuts hanging, the chestnuts hanging on the string. Oh, yeah. But you know, times change yeah. and we change uh -huh. with the times. What is a zeppole and what's in it? It's basically, we just refer to it as an Italian donut. It's basically a wet pizza dough, mm -hmm. okay? Flour, water, yeast, your basic things. Yeah. And like I said, one special ingredient, my two hands right here. This is love right here. That's love. This is a labor of love. This is no joke. Right. If you gave me a whole list of the ingredients. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Is that, That's not. Do you guys also have a brick and mortar or is it just a once a year at only, the feast special? Only here at the Feast of San Gennaro. That's all I do. That's it. Wow. What do you do the rest of the year? I work for the post office. Please don't hold that against me. I won't. <laughs> Everyone has to come down right here to the corner of Mulberry and Grand. Danny on the corner. What is still the number one seller? Is it still the Zeppelis? Zeppelis, yes. I gotta be honest, Danny. I've never had one of your Zeppelis. You're gonna have it right now. Yeah! Let's get one for me! Oh, oh, just, oh! That's fun! That? We are here with Joe, the owner of La Bella Ferrara Bakery. Joe, what year is this for you celebrating the San Gennaro Festival? Well, I've been here more than 45 years, so I've seen a lot of those feasts. <laughs> Part of the culture of uh, Little Italy and New York, in fact. And how did you come about owning this bakery? After school, I used to go, I used to work in a bakery in Brooklyn. One of the owners was my friend, opened up this, uh, came into this bakery, and then I followed him. And after a couple of years, I became a partner. Since the 70s, right? Yes, the, since the 70s, yes. Joe, you were mentioning that you guys have a ton of amazing cannolis. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Sure, I mean, there's always the old traditional one. We came up with different flavors. So we have a, a chocolate dip with a chocolate shell with white ricotta. We have the peanut butter, which is very popular now and the red velvet, actually. You know I'm not gonna come here and not taste the cannoli. I'm gonna let you decide, though, what cannoli do I try today? Well, I think you should try two of them. You should go with the original, and you should get the peanut butter. So, <laughs> no. a taste of the old and the new, right? Hey, you guys, they hooked me up with a cannoli and a peanut butter cannoli. Mm. Mm. I 
right, y'all, this is the peanut butter one. I'm really excited about that. Oh my God. Mm. Oh yeah. Len, we are here in front of Johnny Fasulo's famous Italian sausage. Who is Johnny Fasulo if you're Glenn? Uh, Johnny Fasulo is my grandfather. He's basically, he's a legend. He's a legend down here. You ask anybody where they're gonna get their sausage, and first name that pops into mind is we gotta go to Fasulo, Johnny Fasulo's. We actually have been in this location for 75 years on the corner of Grand and Mulberry. Wow, and how did that start 75 years ago? Well, he started when, uh, when his family migrated here from uh, Sicily. They were able to come to the feast and uh, the rest is history. We've been here, like I said, for the 75 years. Do you still live in the neighborhood? No, we, uh, we moved out of the neighborhood about 10 years ago. Okay. But, uh, you know, we come back here all the time. We've met many people over the years that come back to see us, yeah. you know, year after year. It's, uh, it's great. So are you guys a brick and mortar store as well? No, we're not. We just do, uh, we do some festivals all over the summer. And this is our best festival, you know, from a standpoint of seeing all old friends and acquaintances. What do you do the rest of the year? We have, uh, we're in the catering business. Ah. Uh, so we're busy all year round. So we can have Johnny Fasulo's famous Italian sausage if we get it catered all year round. Absolutely. Amazing. I said it's all homemade. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's made with love. Like spicy, we have a uh, nice hot sausage. Okay. Which has a little spice. I can do a little kick. It I can handle a little kick. kick. Okay. We put on uh, fresh made peppers and onions. Okay. If okay. you like hot peppers. It's so juicy. It's got a little bit of kick. That is made with love and homemade hands right there. Oh yeah. My name is Karen King Chacha, and I'm the owner of Aleva Dairy, which is the oldest cheese store in America. We're the first one here since 1892. So tell us that history, 1892. Okay, well, my husband was Chacha. He was the unofficial mayor of Little Italy. We have a restaurant up the block. Uh -huh. So um, we bought his family, we're cousins with the Aleva family, and they, they didn't want to run it anymore after 126 years. So we decided to take it over. We, it was a landmark. We didn't want it to go out. So we're going to run it for another 100 years. Is there, is there a lot of pressure taking over such a little Italy institution like that? Well, you know what? No, it's OK. As long as you got good people working for you. Partner Pasquale and I, who owns, he part owner with me, I brought him into Cha Cha's. We want to bring that back, that feel of what Little Italy is about. What number feast of San Gennaro is this for you, Karen? Uh, this for me is um, 23 years. Right. And my husband always like stressed that about keeping it Little Italy, like what it is. Yeah. And when he left, you know, it's still here, but I'm trying to take over that. Ferrara's across the street, the famous pastry. He decided when my husband died, um, in you know two year two and a half years ago he wanted to do something and he was the only one that came up with an idea to do a meatball eating contest the first year we had a thousand people last year we had two thousand people we have and we have celebrities like Vinny Pastor and Tony Danza were last year and the first year and now we have Federico I get all the Sopranos they were all my husband's <laughs> friends because he was on the Sopranos Joey Reynolds is hosting and I have Federico Castellucci and Artie Pasquale coming to host my meatball eating contest. Oh. And I am singing the national anthem. What do you recommend? What okay. do I go for? Well, we make our own mozzarella. We've been doing it for 126 years. So you've got to come in and taste it. We make it every day here. Okay, I absolutely want to try that mozzarella. Good, I'm good. Mozzarella cream. Try it yeah. right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> mm. It's so creamy. Oh my god. Brad Squad, it was a delicious day at the San Gennaro Festival. Needless to say, I am stuffed, I need a nap, I am hot, and it was an amazing day at the San Gennaro Festival. Until next time, Brad Squad. Yeah.